Hey everyone, Alfonso Moretti, AKA the Angry Trainer. I'm here today to share with you a top 10, normally on the site, angrytrainerfitness.com. You guys have been going, right? We do top 10s every single week. We've done the top 10 diet myths, top 10 worst exercises, top 10 diet dangers. Well, today it's all about the mat. Today we're gonna give you the top 10 mat exercises you know, you don't always have to be in a gym. You don't always have to be pushing weight or using equipment. Sometimes a mat is all you need in about 30 minutes of your time. It works when you're on vacation, when you're traveling, or if you're home, you can't get to the gym. Mat work is great. So today, I'm gonna give you the top 10 mat exercises. Check these out. The first exercise is a push-up sit-up combination. This is just taking two tried and true exercises and basically just putting them back to back to give you a great stimulus. It's gonna hit your shoulders, your tricep, your chest, and of course your stomach, a little bit of your hip flexors, and some of those really deep abdominal muscles. And this is how you do it. You're gonna start off with a traditional sit-up. Hands behind the head. <sighs> Breathe out. Turn over. Good push-up position. Up. Turn back over. Two sit-ups. Turn back over. Two push-ups. One. Two. Now, you're going to try to go all the way to five and five. And what I want you to try to do is, over time, I want you to try to add one more repetition on each of those until you get to ten and ten. Trust me, you can see I'm breathing heavy. When you get to ten and ten, this becomes a cardiovascular workout like you have not done before. I promise you. Try it. Excellent. So now we're going to go to exercise number two. These are called bird dogs. Really funny name. Awesome exercise though. It's great for spinal stabilization. It's going to work a little bit of your glutes, a little bit of your abs, your upper back. It's really a full body exercise and it's, it's really, it's not that tough, but it's cumulative. The more you do, the harder it gets. So check this out. Very, very, very simple. You're going to go hands and knees, basically hands and knees position. You're going to take your opposite elbow. You're going to bring it back, touch your opposite knee. And then all you're gonna do is extend. Bring your leg up as high as you can. Take this arm up as high as you can get it. Bring back under again. Make sure you breathe out. <sighs> Lift your knee in, touch, extend again. All the way up. What I want you to try to do is I want you to try to get to 15 repetitions with those. Do 15 on one side, then do 15 on the other side. Then you're gonna move on to exercise number three. All right, excellent. So you've got two down. This is the third exercise. This one is super tough. I'm not gonna to lie to you. It's called the gladiator because it works your entire body and you have to be a warrior to get it done. So check this out. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get into side plank position. Take your left leg, put it back on the floor, reach up over your head. Now here's where it gets hard. You're gonna pick this leg up. You're gonna bring it into your, right into your elbow. You're gonna extend back again, right here. Deep breath, breathe out. Don't put that leg down. Keep it up in the air. Straight back, make sure your bridge stays high up off the ground. Come back in again. Excellent. You're going to try for 15 of those. Let me know how that works out for you. All right, everyone. So now we are on exercise number four. This is going to be a hip bridge, but we're going to do it on one leg. This is going to be all about the glutes, or glute, I should say, because you're doing it one leg at a time. This is really easy to do. Just position yourself back like you're going to do a sit-up. Lay back, hands right here on the chest. Bring one leg back a little. Take the other leg, put it straight up in the air, and all you're going to do is just drive your hip straight up off the floor down slowly till you barely touch. Don't let it rest. Drive back up again, right through the heel. See how I'm light on my toe? Keep all the weight on your heel. Back down again, drive up as high as you can go. Now I only did three obviously, but I want you to try to get 15 of those. So try 15 and then go to the other side. Okay, so now we are on exercise number five. I call these the X position. Basically, you're gonna put your body into an X position and do abdominal work. So here's what you do. Lay on the floor, make an X with your body, and what you do is breathe out, come up, touch the opposite side. Back down again, alternate. Breathe out, up, touch. Make sure when you come up that you actually turn your shoulders, turn your body, meet the leg. All the way up. So you're going to try for 15 of those on both sides, a total of 30. If you can't do that many, start with 10 each and work your way up. Then move on to the next exercise. Okay, so we are on exercise number six. This is called shoulder taps. This is actually a great core exercise, a great stability exercise. It's kind of like a little bit of a twist on your regular plank, and here's how you do it. You're basically just gonna get into a plank position, make sure your glutes are squeezed underneath, your legs are tight, and all you're gonna do is lift your hand up off the floor and switch side to side. You can see I'm shaking, you're gonna be shaking too. Just keep tapping your hand side to side for 30 seconds. 
trying to minimize how much your hips sway side to side. Now, if 30 seconds is too hard for you, start at 10 seconds, then work your way to 15, then work your way to 20. Try to get to 30 seconds though, nonstop with minimal hip movement from side to side, then move on to the next exercise. Okay, so we are at exercise number seven. I call these hip cranks. Some people might call them something else. It's what I call it, because basically you're cranking your hip up off the ground. This is great for the side of your glutes, your intercostals, and these muscles over here called your serratus and your obliques. Plus, it's gonna hit your shoulder too. So once again, we're gonna get back into the side plank position. What you're gonna do is take your other hand, put it here, squeeze up, then what you do is lower yourself down to the floor, straight down. You should feel all of this stretch out in through here. Now, the reason why you have your hand here is I want you to feel these muscles. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe out, bring your hips right up off the ground. Try to make round, concave spine right here. Back down, come down again, breathe out, and back up. I want you to shoot for 15 of these. Watch your shoulder, make sure you don't have any pain there. Try to get up to 15 before you move to the next exercise. Okay, so we are on the eighth exercise. You've got a bunch of these under your belt now, and I'm curious as to whether or not it's harder than you thought it was gonna be. A lot of people think that mat exercises are easy, but they're not. This next one is no different. This is a plank up down. It's a great exercise for your core, but it's also gonna involve a lot of your shoulders and your triceps. Basically, here's what you're gonna do. Get into your standard plank position. Make sure your glutes are tucked under. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna put it back where my right elbow is. Come back, up, up. Now what I'm gonna do is go down left, right, left, right. Come back up, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now I only did three. I want you to try to get to 15. 15 is tough. That's what you wanna to try to do. Lead with the other arm on the next set. So on the next set, you're gonna come up left, right, and go down, right, left. This way you balance it out. Try that before you move on to the next exercise. Okay, so we're at exercise number nine. You've only got one more after this one. I've taken two big exercises and put them together. This is another push-up exercise. Push-up and T-squares. Two together, gonna be completely different than what you're used to. Here's how you do it. Get into the push-up position. Make sure you have a good plank. Abs are flexed, glutes are flexed, deep breath. Breathe out. When you get to the top, turn. Open up your chest. Keep your arms straight, shoulders back. Turn back over again. Back down for another push-up. Come back up, turn over again, right into this position. I did two, I want you to do 15 on each side. So try 15 one way, then 15 the other before you move on to the last and final exercise. Okay, finally, here we are, exercise number 10. This is it, this is the end, and it's a toughie. It's called toe taps. This is a core exercise. I want you to do it for 30 seconds. So set your timer, 30 seconds, just keep going side to side until your time is up. Here's how you do it. Get into a plank position, right here, and all you're gonna do is tap your toes. Tap, breathe out on the way forward, try to keep your butt as low as possible. Keep touching those toes, back, back and forth. Switch and switch. Go all the way to 30 seconds. You can't get 30 seconds, go as far as you can and try to get a little bit more next time. There you have it, those are my top 10 mat exercises. If you do those in sequence, back to back, it'll be a killer workout, I guarantee it. Check out Angry Trainer Fitness for my other workouts and my other top 10s, till next time. Be well.